Hey guys, so I'm back again and it has been a really crazy past couple of weeks. Um, and I thought it'd be kind of a perfect time, especially with finals coming up, at least for myself, to talk about study burnout. I know that we've all been there. I was actually just dealing with this about a week or two ago, where you just feel, you feel run down, you feel fatigued, um, you can't concentrate no matter how hard you're trying to study, you're not retaining information. And my body's favorite thing to do is to get sick. I will get a gnarly cold, and that's when I know, okay, my body is telling me I need to slow it down. I need to take a step back and reel it in and take some me time and figure out what's going on here to get back on track. So I thought it would be kind of interesting to talk to you guys about the different things that I do when I notice I'm starting to get a little bit, uh, I guess a little bit burned out with studying. Because we all know that, you know, in, in any medical type of program, any area in the medical field, there's a lot of studying that goes into it. And although we do feel like we need to study constantly to get everything right, sometimes we overdo it a little bit. And your body lets you know by getting that fatigued or sometimes even sick feeling. And a lot of times when that starts to happen, even if you have a good routine in place, you start to kind of fall out of that pattern, just kind of exacerbating the issue. So first thing, um, you need to see what is stressing you out. Is it the study itself? Is it something at school? Is there something in your personal life that's stressing you out? That's one of the first things you can do is try to pinpoint exactly what is stressing you out to try to make an action plan to resolve it. Next thing, this might sound a little bit counterintuitive, especially because I'm talking about study burnout, but a study schedule is so important. And a strict study schedule. And what I mean by strict is if you can do it at the same time every day, that's wonderful. But what I mean is strictly only studying. Turn your phone off. Put away your laptop if you're not using it for research purposes. And if you are using your laptop, don't pretend you're researching and go on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram or whatever your website of choice is. Actually study and make sure that you are not tempted to even use those things. So, you know, put your phone away from you if that's possible. Close your laptop if you're not using it, like I was saying. And then make sure you are taking breaks. Don't just sit there and study without getting up and moving around. I know I did a video last week for a day in life, although I did study quite a bit that day because I had exams the next day, I was still getting up, moving around, doing other things for 10, 15 minutes just to kind of get blood circulating again and to kind of give my brain a little bit of a break because there are times where you can sit and not even realize you're studying for an hour or two, but there are other times when you're starting to feel kind of fatigued where 20 minutes of studying feels like three hours. So it's good to take those breaks and make sure that that break you take is actually moving around doing something. Don't just get on your phone and stay sitting in the same spot playing on Instagram for an hour, which we're all guilty of that occasionally. I know that I've done that too. Something else that can help is staying organized. Because if you're already feeling stressed out and fatigued, your memory starts to get a little bit shaky maybe if you're really tired and you need to make sure that you still have everything in place and it'll take away some of that stress when you finally realize, oh my God, I had this assignment that's due tomorrow. That way there are no surprises. Some people like to use actual handwritten uh, calendars, things like that. I actually just use the calendar on my phone so I can set alarms for the day before, hour before, whatever I need for that situation. Something else that can help, and I kind of got out of this habit trying to get back into it, is working out regularly. Although it feels like you have so much to do that you don't even have 20 minutes to spare, that's not true. You can, you can spare 20 minutes and not only are you going to feel better after, it's going to increase those endorphins and help decrease cortisol levels from being stressed out. And in turn, it's actually gonna help you not get sick, which like I said, is what my body likes to do. I like to get a nasty cold every time I'm really stressed out. <laughs> so it kind of helps in that area as well as it's another thing to just kind of get you up and moving and distract your brain and let you not think about school for 20 minutes, hour, whatever you feel like you can afford at that time. Something else that's important is we all need to vent occasionally, but surround yourself with positive 
people. If there's somebody that all they do is just complain all day long, it's just going to bring you down when you're already feeling stressed out. So you need to make sure you're surrounding yourself with positive people because if you're already feeling stressed out, just having someone kind of nag in your ear constantly is going to make that worse. And that's not what you need. You need somebody that's going to be there to support you and kind of, you know, give you an ear when you do need to vent. You need to have those people that you can talk to, which is another thing. Don't be scared to talk to someone. If you're feeling stressed out, overwhelmed, it's not a secret. We've all been there. So talk to your friends. If there's a school counselor you can talk to, talk to that person. Just sometimes even just saying, God, I'm stressed out makes you feel a little bit better. <laughs> it's just the little things like that you can do that can really help avoid some of that fatigue and making sure that you know you take those days. It's absolutely okay to have a day where you relax. As long as you're sticking to that study schedule, you should have a little bit of time to relax and do something you like that's not uh, you know, playing on your phone or sitting in the same spot you've been sitting in all day. Go explore a new place. Read something that's not a textbook if that's what you like to do. Um, go out dancing. Go for a hike. Whatever you want to do. Spend time with family and friends. You need those times to kind of recharge your brain. And it's so important to do. If you guys have ever experienced study burnout, let me know down below what you guys did to resolve it. I hope everyone's having a great semester and I'll talk to you guys next time. If you guys have ever experienced study burnout, if you guys, oh, I can't talk, oh my gosh, oh my. I'll talk to you guys next time. Blah, 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 blah.